Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a one piece custom shape sticker. We get asked a lot, how do you create the white outline that goes around your stickers? And basically what we do is just create a duplicate, throw it on top, and then just expand it a little bit and create a shape around your graphic. And the main reason to do this is because sometimes graphics have little pieces that you want to include. And to hold it all together so it's an easy to apply sticker, we just want to make it one shape. And so to do this, go ahead and create a second layer. I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy real quick. And you can see, let's select this. And we're just going to create the duplicate with Command C or Control C on a uh, PC and Command F to paste in place. And drag that up to its own layer. Lock this bottom layer so we don't affect that. And with that selected, you're just going to want to merge all that together. So with Pathfinder, just uh, hit the Unite button and you'll see that it makes one shape. And you'll, there's little pieces inside here that you can clear up just by double clicking and selecting. But I would wait to do this because most of it's going to get resolved when we expand the path. So just go ahead and select this uh, shape on the top layer. Go to Effect, Path, Offset Path. And if you go ahead and hit Preview, you'll see what it's doing. And with miter selected, you'll, you'll get these really sharp, jagged edges. I usually select round just to keep everything a little bit, a little bit bubbly. And go ahead and you can make your fine adjustments in your offset path. I think that looks pretty good there. Go ahead and hit object, expand appearance. And you'll see that now you got all these other little shapes and you can just hit unite again. And now we're just left with a couple pieces inside here that we're gonna wanna resolve. Go ahead and double click to go into isolation mode. Select your graphic, hold shift, and click on it again, and it'll select those shapes inside of your shape. Hit delete, and then just double click to get out of isolation mode. And now you can just select that, knock out the fill, and go ahead and actually give it a white fill. You can unlock this layer here, drag this down to its original layer, and send that to the back. And now you can see you got your custom shape. Uh, I'm going to group this all together. And if you actually wanted to indicate your cut path, go ahead and just copy that again. Paste in front with Command F. Throw that on the top layer and Unite. And just knock out the fill and give it a one pixel stroke. Just like that. And now, if you actually want to do that with, say, something like a JPEG, it's a little bit trickier, but uh, using Live Trace, we can go ahead and create our vector shape to indicate the cut line. Go ahead and select your image, and same method of copying and pasting in front. Drag that onto its own layer, lock the bottom layer. Go ahead and hit Image Trace. And you'll see um, you can make your fine adjustments with the threshold here in the Live Trace settings. And just bump that up a little bit. You'll see it fills in most of it, eh, a little bit more. And you can close that out and just hit expand. Now that makes our vector shape there. So uh, it automatically groups it as well. So let's go ahead and ungroup that. Select just the white. And then go to select, same fill color. And that's gonna select all the white here on this layer. Hit delete. And we're just left with just the black vector shape there. Go ahead and do the same method of offsetting the path effect. Path, offset path. And select round. And that looks pretty good right there. Go ahead and hit OK. And object, expand appearance. Unite. Double click. Select. Shift. Select. Get rid of those little pieces. Unless you actually wanted to keep those pieces, if that's part of your cut line, you'd leave those there. But I'm going to go ahead and make this one piece with no holes inside. Select that vector shape. And knock out the fill. Give it a one pixel stroke. And there's your cut path. So now, if you actually wanted to view that, since this is an image with a white background, if you want to look at it and see what it's going to look like as a sticker, go ahead and unlock that. Take your cut path. Uh, copy that. Paste it in front and then drag that down onto the original layer. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that this is on top of the image. 
and then go ahead and select both, right click, make clipping mask, and now you can see what your sticker is going to look like. Thank you.